Well, does it all come down to this last round? It's been a real good battle. A lot of people thought, because Sai was such an unknown, maybe he wouldn't be up to the task, whatever the result. Oh, he's been up to the task, all right. A worthy Commonwealth champion. Is he still going to be a Commonwealth champion in three minutes' time? Both of them know they've got to catch the judge's eye in these last three minutes. And another low blow, another one. It's just ridiculous. And he got away with that one. Well, the, the Cox corner actually think it's even, and, and they say he's got to win this last round. It could be a point either way. A lot of people around me I'm hearing, they think actually Saeed's ahead. I've got Saeed ahead, for whatever that's worth. Oh. And that's without the point deduction. I think it's the second half of the fight, he's picked him off more consistently. There's been effort and work rate from Cox, but very little quality. There he is, picked off again. And there's a ridiculously low shot. And even Mark Green has to step in this time and say enough's enough. Now, is he getting thrown out? That's another point off. That, that's lost in the fight. That's lost in the fight, Nick. Well, if, if that has, he has no one to blame but himself. I mean, we're, we're yeah. comfortably into double figures on flagrantly low punches. Yeah, that, that's lost in the fight. And there's another one, I'm sure, was a bit borderline. I wonder if you start to see things after a while. There's been so many low. Love now from the nose. He is a real mess, isn't he? Yeah, it's not been a good performance from um, Jamie Cox. Another shot there, which uh, looked borderline. He's got to watch what he's doing. The referee could see that. Good left up from Saeed. As we expected, the Garnains very strong, very tough, keeps coming forward now. And that's oh. borderline at best. And we've got a minute left. Is Jamie Cox doing anything in this fight in this round to win it? Just look at his face. A mass of cuts. Blood everywhere, two points deducted. Very close to a disqualification. Caught on the counter again. Sai now, I think, is cut to the side of the left eye. But it might be just a little bit of blood from Cox that has trickled in there. You just can't be sure. There's so much coming from Cox, but there might just be a little nick for Sai. But he's backing up, he's on his bike a little bit here, Cox. And it's Saeed that's the aggressor, and that's a really good sign for the Ghanaian. And for me, Richie, only one winner. He's boxed well, Saeed, throughout this contest. He chose the right tactics. He's finishing the contest strong. They both finish on their feet. They both raise their arms. The Ghanaians are delighted. But it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. It matters what Richie Davis thinks, what Ian John Lewis thinks, and what Marcus McDonnell thinks. They are our scoring judges at ringside. But what a mess. Richie, what do yeah, you think? I've got Cox... Um... I've got Cox down by one point, Saeed for me has just, just taken the last round 10-8. I thought he won the round and obviously the point as well. And I think that's cost him the fight, to be quite honest. Very disappointing night from, uh, for Jamie Cox in terms of his performance. Started off quite well with the jab, but again working to the body. You can see the guy's shorts there actually lift. The action continued in the second round. Got caught with the left hook coming in there. As he's hot, just holding his feet a little bit too long as he's actually coming forward, Jamie Cox, and gets caught with counters, but his total non-stop pressure from Cox. Good work from him, but then he gets caught with the right hand again. Throughout this contest, he targets in the body with those left uppercuts, but Sai he always seems to have an answer with that left hook in at close quarters. Then there was the bad low shot there. The referee's seen it, and he had to take that point away, and rightly so. Midway point, again. 
Low, low blows from Jamie Cox. But he rallied here well. Started to catch his opponent with some good left hands. Then we get into the second part of the fight. And again, another low shot there. And again, borderline. But the referee was a little bit lenient, wasn't he? We said at this stage, the referee was letting things go a little bit. Good end to the contest. But again, Cox getting caught on the retreat. And in the last round, he started off well. But again, another low shot, and that takes the point. For me, Sae Sae has just nicked it. Well, the feeling around here is that Sae has done enough to win, and uh, that Cox was perhaps lucky not to be disqualified as well. That's what we think. That's irrelevant. RMC, Mark Burdis, will tell us what the judges think. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecard. We have a unanimous decision. Judge McDonnell, 114-113. Ian John Lewis, 114-112. Richie Davis scores 115-113. The winner. And the new... Oh, they're giving it to Cox. Commonwealth light middleweight champion from Swindon, Jamie. And Cox. there are boos around this arena. They are booing in this arena. Yeah, a few people not happy around us. But, uh, mm, ladies and gentlemen, on the scoring. For the gallant and well, talented. Taking oh, the two man, points Zay. back into the mix. I mean, they've had Cox, all of them have had Cox winning quite comfortably. Yeah, a little bit puzzling. I just I thought that uh, with the low, the low blows and the points deducted, I thought it, the tide had just turned, and for me, Saeed just nicked it. Well, it's a real shame, that. Saeed.